of thing, and so I look forward to talking about it when it comes out on the 21st. All right, let's move to Camembert and crackers. Everybody is talking about this clip. A conservative senator uh, is miffed that she's being asked to justify claiming a meal expense while traveling when she could have eaten free airline breakfast. In her words, she described as, quote, ice-cold camembert with broken crackers. Uh, that's the level of detail Nancy Ruth says that uh, she and the other uh, senators are being subject, uh, subject to by the Auditor General, uh, General who is conducting this very comprehensive, uh, obviously, uh, uh, investigation. Uh, your thoughts on the, on the comment itself. Tara, let's start with you. Oh, hell, it would have just been easier if she had copped to being gluten-free <laughs> and saying that's why she needed to if buy breakfast. If she used cheese whiz instead before, of uh, there, there were so many other ways to say this. And unfortunately, um, it just shows that some people don't learn from the many, many mistakes <laughs> that <laughs> that other senators have have slipped up on uh -huh. uh, in, the, in the past. It, it, it's just a ridiculous comment. It shows how disassociated uh, some people can be from the rest of the Canadian population. And if you watch the clip, she really, she really <laughs> she feels serious. like this she was an issue. She emphasized the point. Yeah. You, you know, we were saying before, it's, it's like first world problems. Now we can say Senate problems, you know. Yeah. Ron, what are your thoughts? Would we be talking about this if she had said cheese whiz? No, no, she should have said no comment like a, a number of the other senators. Yesterday was April Fool's. I thought, uh, April the 1st, I thought it was an April Fool's really? joke. I really did. I said, she can't be serious. And then the pompous act <laughs> comes out and says, you know, broken crackers? You expect me to eat broken crackers? I want her to spend one day with me yeah. and my school. Do you have camembert on the plane, Alex? I j this is just extreme entitlement. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, for someone course. to say that yeah. fancy cheese and crackers is not good enough for them, I'm sorry, but we have the highest rates of food bank use ever <laughs> in the country right now. So there are kids in our community that they don't even get cheese yes, and crackers yes, yes. for breakfast, they get no breakfast. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have 8,000 kids yeah. using the food bank right here in Hamilton, and she has the audacity to come out and say that cheese and crackers are not good enough and, for her. And this Alex, is, she meant it. This she is meant wrong. it. It's wrong. And she and implies and business and these kinds she of attitudes fly, you know, that, um, that need to be eliminated. These, this is an unelected body. It shouldn't exist, period. It needs to shake them up. All right, <laughs> further to all of this, uh, auditors are matching travel expenses to claims, phone records. They're checking all of this stuff out. I mean, Good. they're phoning the people you were supposed to be meeting. and. Having